Hello love, today we're looking at some old wisdom from my grandma. How to get a girlfriend or boyfriend. Honestly, those advices are so good. They work on every man, woman and child. I think I never tried them on a child. I mean, it's gotta work, right? What's so special about them kids? Now, once you try all these methods that I'm about to show you, please come back to this video and comment down below what worked, what didn't, what you're struggling with. Now, let's begin. Now, of course, the most important thing is to find a girl. If you are one of the few lucky ones that have a girl at at home it's fair game lucky bastard as for the rest of us normal people we just have to go to a bar find the girl you like and you go to her at this point it's very easy just look her in the eyes give her a smile and tell her hey girl you want to go out with me and that's it you're done well if that didn't work that means you don't have magical blue eyes and a dashing smile do not despair all you need to do is acquire the tools to amplify your charisma no not a bugatti i know it's very popular that oh you need a fancy car there's no need to get fancy here okay a 9mm will do just fine. Now I know it's hard to believe, but girls don't actually pay too much attention to me. However, once I whip that bad boy out, whew, they can't look away. Now a very common problem I experience with this method, and I haven't actually seen any other dating advice videos talk about it. The girls tend to freeze up a little bit. Now I'm not a psychiatrist, I don't know why they do that. However, I know how to fix it. Shoot them in the kneecap, as shown in this schematic. Now this has the added advantage of them now being in a crime scene. Thus, they're legally not allowed to leave. I think I'm not actually a lawyer. I just wanted to sound smart. Now, as she is bleeding and screaming on the floor, you have the perfect opportunity to call her an ambulance. You're gonna buy some get well flowers, go into her room and just ask her out. The second she sees the flowers, there's no way she could say no. And there you go, you have a date. Congratulations. Now, there is a small chance that she'll involve the police. But if she does that, she's a bitch and you just dodge the bullet. Step number two, the first date. Date. I, I'm not sure if there was a step one, but the step number two. Going into the first date, it's very important to understand how is she feeling psychologically. She's probably thinking something on the lines of, Oh, my knee! Oh, the medical bills! Which are the most common thoughts girls have on first dates. We can of course use this to our advantage. That's why you're gonna pay for everything, so she doesn't think about money, and she'll probably feel a little bit insecure about her knee. So you have to give her compliments that will make her feel more comfortable about her situation you know being crippled and unable to walk really suits you or if she's more of a street type of girl sick rims the second important thing about a first date is to temper your expectations the most spicy thing you can expect is a goodbye kiss yes i know you want her to do other things with her mouth but she can't do that with a busted knee give her some time to recover now if you followed all my instructions to the letter you should have no problem getting a second date which means you're now officially in a relationship therefore come back next week for my video on relationships so you don't mess things up and of course don't forget to write a comment and tell me what happened in your particular case until next time